I bet they are having so much things to be prepared for this one. But there you go, GBX Boss Rank going against our Kim Mika as Lele, Leafy, Tan, and Giogoi. Well, for GBX Boss Rank, it's going to be Funi, Tao, Violet, Caramel, and Ching Chao. So Ooh. this is the lineup of. To be honest, this is the full lineup of e Evo's lengths previously. But for this one, this is our Kimika. I think like this is one of the strongest uh, lineup coming from our Kimika. And Livy, the thing about Livy, Livy knows pretty well how GPX blessing playing. Because Paul, Violet, Carmel, uh, Vuni was uh, the same, the same teammates previously. So. I see it would be a very very good thing because it's an insider. Yeah. So it's gonna be an insider and like spilling too much <laughs> so much things to be happen inside of the land of the later, but Kaja Basha along with no one and joy. So they're banning tons of heroes right here, but they are no support ban. They're not going on that one. They're not thinking to try to focus on it but Valentina despite again has been nerfed tons of times it's still a prior <laughs> no matter what happened okay ban 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 banning out the Guinevere is actually a good thing from previous matches and we can actually see that the Guinevere is one of these most scared heroes and it actually gains a lot during that <laughs> it's going on off name. and from GPX Basarang started with a first pick Diggy a few games back we can all see that a lot of the teams actually choose to ban out Diggy because maybe it's because the anti-CC from the time journey and it could help quite a lot and actually prolong one of the team fights there during war but then again from our Kyumi Tan and also Gyogoi 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 is actually playing in a lot of smooth how are they trying to keep up their time and with mm -hmm. the player cams right here you can see they are actually discussing it and maybe Tutan uh, using Bakshia or maybe like uh, Bakshia would be actually pretty nice. Actually, uh, I love how Dora was doing... This is the thing about Dora. I, I love how he is communicating with the rest of the players. So they feel like they are contributing into the team. And that's what makes team like improve. Yes. But, you know what? When there is not only talking about the the bond between the players, but also with the, co with the coach. So mm -hmm. they can trust the coach to have better options for them instead of the land of done and the, the perspective can be made as well like you yes. have a different perspective with mine but when we are get close to each other we can understand it well so i think like that's what makes araki now pretty strong because every time dora will come up with an idea because they are really contributing to one each other really close to one each other they can understand how is going to be uh, how they're going to be able to have the winning condition inside of the land of dark and they are doing it really well with the presentation coming from Urkimika. Picking over the Diki, Novaria and Aralot. This is super oh, aggressive lineup coming from GBX Battery. For Urkimika, they choose to have two supports. Uh, right here to add shield and also prolong the game fight using the fair miss. I actually once saw Tan use the Kufra and that is a insane support going on right there because I really can't wait to see how these things going to play out in the sec uh, in the fourth match today here for our RQ Lele they're still trying to think that which combination would be better on this team but they also can ban out the marksman and also a jungler from our Kumika because it's like TPX bus rank haven't really secured onto the gold lane and also the jungler. Mm -hmm. And the options of where the gold lane is actually very very easy. You can like you can pick any anything on the gold lane right now. Even for Ash, I think like the, the pool hero coming from Ash, they can use over the even Harrod or anything into the gold lane, but I think that it depends on what situation that is being gonna be brought by GPX Boss Rank. Banning uh for our Q Mika side, I think like they really need to consider what kind of gold lane that is gonna be prepared by GPX Boss Rank because Brody might be one of the options, but if it's not 
it might be I going for a Beatrix, I guess, since like they really need someone who can have like similar kind of range with uh, Bru Bruno, mm -hmm. but also need to have and deal tons of damage. I think it would be nice to match up if you just want damage. A, an, a Nerithal would be nice. But at the same time, the range is not that much long. Or maybe even a Clint. If, if a the, the, the Brody time gets a turn ban or even the Beatrix no is getting banned. Yeah, so they are forced to use the Brody. When we know that actually if it's a using a Brody, uh, it's not going to be like very good going for the late game. So right now, GPX was forced to choose. If you want to have the range, suffers. you can go for it. But if it's not... You can try to pick over the one one that is left open, to be honest. <gasps> There's a kitty cat! There is! Like, Araki Mika have, like, the the cat, the dog, and even the rabbit. The rabbit and everything. Oh, yeah, you guys, you are right. But for Lele, it's a baby, baby, baby dog. <gasps> really? It, it Not really real one, though. That? Oh, my the plushy God. one. I got fooled, guys. Uh, so Caramel and Lele Pinkan having the same kind of interest into the baby now. Oh. <laughs> Both of them. They're so cute. But yeah. Speaking of the draft here, Benedetta is the one that's being banned. And they are picking over the Fred range. So they have the frontliner. They have the initiator here with Matilda. They have one of the defense mechanism as well with the uh, presence coming from the Faramis. And the damage coming from the Brody. So, uh, sorry, the Bruno. So they really need one more. It can be an initiator, depend on what kind of hero that will be picked by GBX Passing. And they are picking over on Akai. So to counter the movement from Erokimika, they have the heavy speed and also to play objectively towards the turtle using that Akai with retribution. So, so far from the games that we've seen, they've Try and use to execute the Akai using the heavy spin and trying to put on a red tree. So far, it has only gotten one neutral objective. So we are going to see more of the head to head on how this Akai plays out and will that retribution hit the 50 50? Mm, that is going to be the question. Is it going to go that way or not? But Brody, as the last pick for GPX bus track again. If it's going for the late game, it's not going to be good one. Uh, but the the presence from Nervaria along with the Arlot actually helping them so much. So I really want to know what is the execution instead of a lot of them. But Raruki Mika, as the last pick, they are picking Uranus. Without any counter, I guess, from the side of like GPX Bus Rank. With a transcendent word, a unique age. I mean, like, this Uranus will be dancing instead of a lot of them. Other than dancing, it's just quite useless to... if you keep on hit it, hitting that. that is so maybe it's a good thing to go in as a um, cutting lane. Maybe as an early that it would be a very good thing. And we're just doing the Aloha right now. Because, because, because it's going to be like that. The Uranus will be dancing around inside of the Land of Dawn. And no one will be able to stop it. Dominance Eye is definitely needed along with the Necklace of Turins. But... Talking about Novaria, I don't think like that is gonna be the case here. Novaria really needs this killing item. Lock of Destiny, Lightning like Trunchy, and even the Divine Glaive is needed. It's just so, full on penetration from Yes. That. So Dominance Eyes on the head of Akai along maybe with that Diggy. It's either Necklace of Durance or maybe even going for the uh, a Dominance Eyes. Either that way, it's needed, definitely. We and will see what is going to be the execution coming from the GPS per strike along with our Kimika because both of them have their winning condition. But let's just take it out and jump directly into the land of the match number four, game number one. GPX Basrang versus RRQ Mika getting in head to head to see who will get the points for tonight's game. Oh, oh, oh. That's gonna be a huge question. Who do you think gonna happen? Well, who, who do you think gonna be taking the game here? Because I do feel like both of them have the chances to do so. So I think it's just gonna be fair to try to believe in what is going to be happening inside of Land of Dawn. I mean, like, so far, Chinchou is one of the best players inside of the uh, gold lane, and Ash was improving a lot as well. So, I do feel like 
they can try to pick up something here with all of the things coming from the side of the GPX Mustang. And I do like how they're taking the risk here for playing quite early with the heroes that they are having. Okay, knowing that Ash is trying to pull the end and even the Diggy. With a reverse time and also a few ticking time bombs, in this case, a ticking bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> they will have to avoid quite a lot of tr little traps from the side of GPX Basarang. Not to forget that maybe Caramel has to focus on more to the farming and even the Uranus already pushed in into that second and third tire trying to just cut in a lot of waves trying to buy a lot more good times but the Akai going there trying to find in a way also Yo Yogoi is still fine uh, finding routes to maybe roam rum to the middle or even to the bottom because they all need to set up for the first turtle right here yeah setting up those things here because the turtle already appear on the land of dawn so right on the bottom lane we are witnessing the movement coming from the uranus along with the arlot i mean like that's the case when you're facing one to another with the lifestyle composition and able to survive but caramel was really trying to get something and get close to the players coming from the side of Eric and the turtle will be executed maybe but look at that one caramel still holding it into the heavy Ooh. speed and put back the position but the narrow realm is already being used but Levi is pretty low and might be the case here but the turtle secured nicely in the head of Arakimika. Okay, quite a clean move and even though it's a very early war that is initiated not like the other games before, it is quite good how Tan tries to get the ways of the retribution and being on point with the first neutral objective, it would help a lot in the gold gap. But at the same time, GPX Bus Rank tries to find ways to actually gain a big of a gold lead because from the side of the gold lane is actually quite harsh. Okay, Tan trying to pop in again with a flicker from Ting Chao needs to be used defensively. Funi trying to help a bit of a way, but even Lele until jumping into the second and the I first mean, tire, that is That's very, the very purpose, cool. having the Uranus. It's either Uranus, Esmeralda, you just go to the side of uh, the opponents or even Ruby. You can do that and try to play a lot on that one. So yeah, that's gonna be the thing, especially if, because Lele believed that no one can stop her at this point. It's just gonna be exchanging stuff, but look at that one. Uh, movement towards Tan here, that is actually being opened up by caramel as well so they try to open up the bushes while also trying to play objectively caramel is ready with the retribution and everything else it's 30 seconds 30 seconds into the next turtle so they want to take something before they go and aim for that objective going the top lane heavy speed has been done expecting the ash here but there is no other follow-up that is given by the side of gpx bus train a little miss communication, I guess, coming from the side of GPX Bell Strength, so they are unable to actually give having something. Both EXP laters are very far off from each other. Cutting there, cutting there, because it's trying to budge in into the middle, trying to meet up and start the Lord. And from the first second turtle opening up again, RQ, Mika is actually quite ready, knowing that Violet is there pulling in from the Shadow Stampede, but far away zone out from Lele and also Funi Tal didn't really get a chance to get even close to the turtles to help in again mm -hmm. not to mention that they would need to find ways to actually maneuver over on getting that neutral objective if GPX Basare wants that very much but so far even though our Kumika gets two neutral objectives it isn't enough to catch on to the gold of GPX Plus Rank. Oh ho, but they are still aiming for what Circling Eagle right now. Chin Chao still trying to get back here, but there is with the help coming from Tal, they are able to secure the movement right here. But look at that one. Actually, Caramel trying to stop the movement from Lele, but that is not going to be the case here. They really need more damage. They really need Chin Chao and also Funi to participate to try to burst out the players from the side of Arakimika and Arakimika. They know it. Olivia right now trying 
needs to pick up. I'm maybe giving the damage, but look at that. But there has been Spirit is down. Livy's down. Along with Gyo going. Two points has been collected. Along with the turrets in the bottom lane. But Pan is pretty low and needs to be forced to get back as soon as possible. Oh, that's a quite heavy thing to do. And even if it's the middle, this is actually the chance from Jin Zhao to actually push into the turret. Let's not forget that from our Kumika actually needs to go down and regen their health. Let's not to mention that two people here with a lot of ticking time bombs trying to support it. They have managed to secure the second tire turret from the bottom lane. And let's not forget from the middle lane, they they're just trying to move over to find out a great way or a great move to find it. Even though Shadow Stampede with a final slash going in again. But Livy is just... A bit of a tanky, one HP bar left, and still regening from that. Mm -hmm. But Lily, again, Lily is just living into the fullest potential of Uranus. You know, whenever everyone was, was doing a war, she was like cutting the minions, trying to slow down the progress, or slowing down the push coming from the side of GPX plus rank. But Tan actually having quite a hard time to jump in and Final try time. to initiate towards the GPS plus rank side. But look at that one, Violet able to put, pull it back to the side of GPX and try to focus more over this turtle. This turtle, they are trying so hard to put it on their hand, but Yoga is receiving so much help so much help here to try to survive but Han jumping in, try okay, to focus on something, go. but the heavy spin is there. Caramel securing the turtle along with a jungler in the head of GPX. Well I should actually say the Nether Realm is quite early popped up yeah. so mm -hmm. it's quite an expensive information given to GPX Plus Rank. Not to mention that how Tan tries to dive in a bit too early and then getting pinned down with the heavy spin and it's a guarantee retribution for Caramel and in that fact Tan. Let's not forget from our item build also that the Akai has going in with the Radiant Armor trying to yeah, maybe need some a bit of a backup to the Faramis or maybe the uh, Frederick trying to pop out again. But so far from RQ is quite pushed back from GPS Bucks and uh, Astral Eco opening up and also a recall trying to aim at Yogoi. And again from Chin Chow is just pure on pushing. Yeah. There's so much things right now that he is Trying to be hold up by the side of Arakimika 3 and 0 in 8 minutes. And GPX leading by 6,000 gold lead here with the Dominance Eyes on the head of Violet and Vuni finishing off the Lightning Trunchia. And now, with those leads, they really need to push it back towards Arakimika and Lele need to join the war. She needs to be the tanky, she need, needs to be the sandbag to hold up the pressure that is given by the side of GPX Plus Rank. Because if it's not, I think it's going to be pretty hard for Arakimika to hold up with all of the pressure and also the aggressive movement coming from GPX Plus Rank. Okay, Caramel trying to zone in again. Yogoi being in the front line with the Astral Eco slowing down and opening up prisons to everyone with pulling in with a Shadow Stampede. But then again, Chin Chao once again was able to push in the turret. Not, ten, not even 10 minutes in, the middle inner turret is actually has broken off to the passive and even the first lord is just started here from caramel and a lot of zoning out moments to play in that ticking time bomb is actually quite giving a nasty damage in the early game not to mention that tan with that much of the hp still takes up a lot uh, still have to close down a lot of damage even if if i'm not mistaken is that two or even three time bombs like one of the third HP is actually just down. I mean, like, this is impure H kind of. Uh, it's not longer impure, but it's the magical. So the definitely the, the damage coming from the tall is huge because they have the frontliner already. They have the Arlet along with this Akai to hold it up. So actually, it's pretty funny right now how 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 they are gonna be able to dive in and try to give it up towards Arakimika side. But Arakimika unable to get out and even trying to farm is pretty hard to do because uh, at this certain point, and I don't believe like they really need to hold it up into the late game. But if without any anything that Tan can do to dive in and try to maybe even pick off the member of GPX bus rank, it's already too much because the heavy spins from Caramel stopping them to do to do anything, and even the setup that is being made by the uh, Shadow 
the Astral coming from uh, Novaria is enough to make GPX Mastering having the lead over the aggressive movement. Okay, not to mention that they need to really focus on how they try to control taking the middle turret first and then waiting for the Lord to barge in onto the bottom lane one. But for our Kimika, they need to put in more of a damage here. Okay, time journey popping off in a quite a bit of an early, but the Frederick needs to be taken down from Tan. A bit of a silence and also Lele trying to zone out a lot of people, but also the Astral Eco forcing out three people here and getting that base so cleanly in 10 minutes i think it's only three kills until the end of the game like eat three kills with those draft those pressure i was surprised to be honest i was uh, totally too because i was feeling the vibe of that of that draft from rq me